Hello viewers welcome back to our series Ask Dr Doshi where I will be addressing many questions about Parkinson's disease and its related treatment posed by the viewers Today I am answering one of the most common questions asked on our channel and that is how do I diagnose Parkinson's disease So let me start with the beginning first of all we have to understand what is Parkinson's disease Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disorder it occurs when certain cell loss occurs in certain parts of the brain to be more specific an area called substantia nigra meaning black substance when that cell substance loses dopaminergic cells that is when the symptoms of parkinson's disease surface it is said that almost 70 80% of the cell loss has to occur before the symptoms of parkinson's disease are manifest that is the amount of reserve nature has given us so that we can live a good life unfortunately all people are not very fortunate and some people do have accelerated degeneration and cell loss making them suffer from parkinson disease so the next patient comes is how do i diagnose if i am suffering from parkinson's disease the most common symptom for parkinson disease patient has been tremors and tremor is a very typical type of tremor what we call peel rolling as if you are rolling peels and you see that the patient would have tremors when he is resting like what you see i am doing and suppose i have to do any action suppose i have to take a mobile phone and take a call then the tremor will stop the moment i put it down the tremor will start so this is the most common symptoms and most of the people feel that if i don't have tremor i may not have parkinson disease but that's wrong the second symptom which is also very common is slowness when it comes to slowness you need to focus on asymmetry if my right hand is swinging less when i am walking as compared to my left hand then i would have find out that it is a parkinson disease possibility of that if my one foot is dragging while i am walking as if i have got some weakness in the leg then there could be a possibility of parkinson disease so this kind of slowness which is asymmetric one side worse than the other can be a cause of parkinson disease and then there are other minor symptoms or major symptoms that are not so common that can manifest in patients of parkinson's disease another interesting fact that i would like to tell you is that today we have gone way ahead in understanding this parkinson disease at our center we differentiate different types of parkinson's disease based on the other findings like someone having memory deficit we could say that he's got cholinergic parkinson's disease someone has got urinary symptoms we said it is adrenergic parkinson's disease so many many patients would have different kinds of symptoms and we sub categorize this parkinson's disease and you may ask me as to why should we be bothering about sub categorizing parkinson's disease even as such people are not it is not easy for us to diagnose parkinson's disease and here you are splitting hairs yes splitting hair is important because the treatment for this parkinson disease patient can be tailored to suit their individual problems and some of the treatment which has generally offered to every patient may counter could be counterproductive or may be detrimental to that patient and hence understanding the sub type of parkinson disease is also helpful i hope that i have answered some of the queries this is an interactive channel this is a channel for you between you and me so i would like you to put down all your comments or questions that occur to you the questions that you want me as an expert to address or answer to be put down in comment section so that in the next segment of the video we can collect all that and share adequate and relevant information pertaining to that